Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we're going to look at the Arsenal player ratings versus Chelsea. So in terms of the first person, it will be in the form of Bert Leno and he couldn't really do anything about any of the goals as the back four in front of him let him down and he made an excellent reflex save from Lukaku. His tendency to go long instead of playing out from the back will have done little to reduce the pressure now being provided by Aaron Ramsdale. And in terms of Bert Leno, I think he needs to start playing out from the back because I think he is very nervous in that sort of style. But overall for his performance, I think it's fair to say he deserves a 6. Next up, we got Cedric and he was caught out of position in the defensive line for the first goal that allowed Reese James to stay on side. Defensively fine apart from that, but couldn't offer much going forward. And I think that he was told by McClotter to, to stay more of a defensive role rather than an attacking role as they had so many good attacking depth, but he gets a 5 for his performance. Next up we got Rob Holding and usually excellent against Chelsea but was given a lot of work to do covering his centre back partner. A little moment of indiscipline in the first half but recovered to have a decent enough performance given the circumstances. And you clearly see that Rob Holding is a different sort of player. He's been at this football club, he knows what it is to play for this football club and with the fans behind him, I think he was able to show what he was able to do but at best he is an average centre-back and for his, for his performance he deserves a 6. Next up we got Pablo Mari and he could not cope at all with the offensive friend of Romelu Lukaku. His nerves and weakness in defending the Belgian spread rest to the rest of the back four. He overcompensated for the way their teammate was playing. And they didn't really have any trust in Pablo Mori the way he was defending. I know it's a big job trying to face the likes of um, Romelu Lukaku. We know what he is capable of. We know that he's a top level world class striker. But... You're a defender, you're at 27, you're at the prime of your career and you should be able to handle that and he gets a 3 for his performance. Next up we got Kieran Tierney. He had some moments of intense pressure in the final third but got the crowd going in the second half but there can be no doubting he was at fault for the Chelsea's second even if that was somewhat due to a desire to cover for the worrisome Maury his going off injured compounded a bad day for Arsenal. And Kieran Tierney defensively was shocking for that second goal because he was meant to mark Reese James instead of rather trying to help Pablo Mori and for his performance he deserves a 5. Next up we got Albert Sambilo Conga and he had some really nice switches of play from the Belgian who looked to play forward wherever he could. A really assured home Premier League debut for the youngster. We can clearly see this man has bags of potential. I think he was very smart in his way. He's a calm and collected player. We can clearly see that. And he did do the necessary dirty work by getting that yellow card when Romelu Lukaku was going to break through. And he knows how to deal with it easily, simply. And he's a very simplistic and very decent player in my opinion. And he gets a 7 for his performance. Next up we got Granit Xhaka. Perhaps could have done more to cut off the supply line to Romelu Lukaku that caused so many problems to also in the first half, but decent enough on the ball and showed the fight the Gunners would have wanted in the second period. And when it comes to Granite Xhaka, we can clearly see this is his typical performance. We've given him the new long-term contract. Stan Kroenke and Josh Kroenke have been talking a lot about Granite Xhaka's leadership skills. But we can clearly see that he has at fault for some of the play as well. He has looked decent and he gets a 6 for his performance. Next up we got Nicola Pepe. He was caught offside frustratingly on several occasions but looked threatening when on the counter attack. A few good runs not spotted by teammates but ultimately another big game where the Ivorians struggled to deliver. And that £72 million price tag is going to keep haunting Nicola Pepe once and again. Because we all know he has the capability because there are moments of school where I was surprised what he was able to do. But there are moments where he needs to deliver and he has to deliver because he's a big game player and he has a 6 for his performance. Next up we got Emil Smith Rowe. Some typical nice jinking dribbles that helped drag Arsenal up the pitch. A few moments as well that could have led to goals on another day. But often was found fighting the good fight on his own and he looked the biggest prospect. I think he has realised how much importance he has to this team and we can clearly see that Emil Smith Rowe with that number 10 shirt has showed that he wants to fight for this football club and he gets a 7 for his performance. Next up we got Bukayo Saka. A shot at the start of the second half was exciting for the England international on his return to an adoring fan base at the Emirates. But apart from that the youngster had a few moments in the final third where he perhaps could have done better. A 1 versus 1 versus 
with Aspilicueta in the first half stands out among those moments. And Saka, you clearly see, is not in full contention. He's not in full fitness. He still needs to recover. And I think as two, three games go by, we'll start to the best of Spokayo Saka. And he gets a six for his performance. Next up, we got Gabriel Martinelli. He struggles to hold the ball up when playing the number nine role and looks far more threatening when moved out to the left-hand side. The Brazilian would have hoped to do more and what was a big chance for him though. And that one chance where he was able to um, get that ball from the likes of Smith Rowe or Bukayo Saka, he should have been able to not do the turn and really try to go one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. But the problem we're going to always state is he was too young and didn't have the experience to co convert that and he gets a six for his performance. Next up, we're moving into the substitutes and we got Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang first and he came on with an half an hour to go and was nearly released in behind by a good ball from Sambi Lokonga. He couldn't do much to influence the game after that though as he looked a li little leggy which is expected given his recent COVID-19 di diagnosis. And Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang looks like he thrived under the pressure from the fans. I think he is showing his heart and desire for his football club but I think what, something that he lacks is good plays around him. Next up, we got the likes of Nuno Tavares. He showed his usual enthusiasm after coming on for the stricken Kieran Tierney, and he looks set to get some game time with the Scott potentially out. And for me, Nuno Tavares is a really good left back. I think he is a really good player. I think the way he plays is very calm and composed, but he is also able to do show his physicality and really be a good threat. And I guess he gets a six for his performance. And finally, we got following Balogun, but he came on too late to influence the game, so he would not receive a rating from me. So overall, when it comes to Miklos Setsa, I don't know what we're going to do, because we're relying a lot on the young players, but we need a few big heads. We're relying on Granite Shaka as one of our leaders, we're relying on Pierre Mkabaming as another one of our leaders, and the likes of Pablo Mori as another one of our leaders, Cedric Suarez, Kieran Tierney, someone that's only 23, 24 years old, so we cannot rule him into that equation. So, and Nicola Pepe. So those are five players that I think should be making more of an influence on these youngsters. The youngsters want to play for this football club, they're doing everything they can, but they need a little bit of more experience in the squad in my opinion, and I'm really scared as an Arsenal fan.